some students of color are blasting the University of San Francisco for how it's handling a disturbing discovery in a student dorm. KPI X5's Andrea Borba has new details on the noose investigation. Nothing that they could have said could have prepared me to open that email and to actually, you know, read it through and actually see a picture of that noose. Two black USF students spotted this noose hanging from a fourth floor balcony at USF's Loyola Village on March 30th, which could be seen throughout the courtyard. It has been a hurtful incident. Um, it is um, a shameful incident in so many ways because of the potent history of the noose in the United States. The university says the student behind the noose has been removed from the dorms at USF. There's already been a hearing in his case, but he hasn't been expelled or publicly named. We are bound by the Department of Education, the U.S. Department of Education I'm talking about, um, and the legislation of FERPA, which is um, uh, the right to privacy that all students in, in any college or university has. Brianna Johnson is the president of USF's Black Student Union and says identifying the student is a matter of safety for the USF student population, only 6% of which is black. If we don't know who he is, we don't know if he shouldn't be in the spaces. You know, we don't know how to identify him. We don't know if we're ever going to be potentially put into danger because of his presence. Brianna says she and other black students on campus don't feel supported at the Jesuit school. I feel like USF is tokenizing black students. Like they're putting on us up front on these brochures about diversity and things like that. But when we say like, hey, we have real concerns about being here, you know, or we're fearful of this or we're having X problem, we're always met with you know, no real resolution. The BSU says they were promised some answers early this week and it's already Wednesday and they have not received them. The university says interviews are still ongoing in this case. In San Francisco, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.